Hi, I'm Edwin Palmer. And welcome to Edwin's Book Corner. In this book review, I'm gonna inform you about Under the Dome. This is a novel Stephen King published in 2009. I will tell you what my opinion is of this book and whether it's worth a read. First, however, I'd like to give you the following summary of this novel. On an entirely normal, beautiful fall day in Chester's Mill, Maine, the town is inexplicably and suddenly sealed off from the rest of the world by an invisible force field. Planes crash into it and fall from the sky in flaming wreckage. A gardener's hand is severed as the dome comes down on it. People running errands in the neighboring town are divided from their families, and cars explode on impact. No one can fathom what this barrier is, where it came from, and when, or if, it'll go away. Dale Barbara, Iraq vet and now a short order cook, finds himself teamed with a few intrepid citizens. Town newspaper owner Julia Shumway, a physician's assistant at the hospital, a select woman, and three brave kids. Against them stands Big Jim Rennie, a politician who will stop at nothing, even murder, to hold the reins of power, and his son, who's keeping a horrible secret in a dark pantry. But their main adversary is the dome itself, because time isn't just short, it's running out. Strengths. I loved the following five things about this novel. Firstly, this book has depth. When I decided to read this novel, I thought Under the Dome would be a fun story about people trapped under a dome. However, this novel is a lot more than that. It runs much deeper. It's about good versus evil in our modern day society. Maybe it's even a warning. Secondly, Although this book has many characters, all of them are believable and well created. The fact that it has clear protagonists and antagonists makes it appealing to many age groups. Thirdly, you can watch the television series and read the book. One doesn't rule the other one out, as the stories are different. Fourthly, I loved the atmosphere Mr. King created. It really felt like I was there in Chester's Mill. Last but not least. I also loved the final message of Under the Dome, as it's very important. Weakness and conclusion? I do have two points of criticism though. Aside from being a very long book, it has 1072 pages. I didn't like the explanation for why the dome came down on Chester's Mill. Nevertheless, because of its depth, message, details, and simply because it's a fun read, I still recommend both teens and adults to devour it. Get your own copy of Under the Dome today. I've left the Amazon link below this video. If you want YouTube to notify you that I've uploaded a new book review, you can subscribe to my channel. And you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon of my head as soon as it pops up on the screen. And if you want to watch this series from the start, you can do that by clicking on that link as soon as it appears on the screen. I'll be back next Friday with a new lesson in my Figures of Speech series. Until then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.